Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love and general readings for September 2016. Very quick announcement, um, I set up an Instagram account, it's Jane International if you feel like following. I don't have too many pictures up there yet, I, I just set it up and um, I'm going to be traveling a lot more over the next five or six months, so would love, you, love to have you guys there with me. So. Um, here we go, your love reading for September 2016, Sagittarius. Okay, one more, I think. Um, let's see here. Well, you've definitely been going through something. This devil has been popping out like crazy. Um, you've definitely been going through something, all right? Now, there may be something from your past being dredged up or something from your past that has been affecting you for maybe quite some time. Um, and I think that something, whatever it is that you are feeling afflicted by, um, I think you're getting to the point of just being sick of it. Like you're being sick, you're getting sick of thinking about it, sick of using it as excuses for not moving forward with someone, um, sick of, of thinking about it and dealing with it and, and feeling a little bit oppressed by it. Um, and I feel that this thing has been, it's, it's like been tempting to use it as an excuse, almost. And it's something that has turned you in the reversal. Now, what's interesting is that despite this, you are doing well, okay, with the sun, and that all things are good. And, you know, I love Sagittarians, so optimistic, so happy, so bubbly. I have like three sad friends. They're like my favorite friends ever. You know, they're always super fun. And even if they might be going through some shitty stuff, they always tend to keep a smile on their face, keep their head up and just like power through, you know? And, um, and even though I do feel that you have been, um, affected, all right, you have the reversal, You, you still haven't like really let it get in the way, but you are moving away from it, I think. Now, now for those of you who are dating, I could be wrong in this, but for those of you who are dating, I feel that you have maybe used these issues or this issue, okay, as an excuse to, I mean, just enjoy your options. Let's say that, <laughs> enjoy your options in dating. Going out, having fun, but not committing in any way. For those of you in a relationship, obviously that's not the case, but you might be um, like looking right? And not partake, partaking, not participating, but it doesn't have to be options in terms of lovers. It could be options in terms of, you know, 
things that might be in your best interest, whether it's a new location or a new apartment or, you know, it's like you're, you're distracting yourself from what's at home and what issues you're dealing with and you're looking elsewhere for things to help satisfy. These may be even activities that you do to kind of distract yourself. It's like you, you are purposely distracting yourself from the issues, even though those issues are kind of the reasons, you know, why you're doing some things. But I think you're done. I mean, when I say you're done, I mean, you're at a point where you have decided it's no longer satisfying. You've done it enough. You're tired. You, you know, you're, you're, I'm going to use a dating scenario because that's how it, this is most naturally fitting, right? Okay. So let's say someone broke your heart. You had a bad breakup, a divorce, something like that and you have been dating not seriously for quite some time and you have been um, exploring your options, having a good time, having fun um, and allowing these options to be this, it's a very seductive thing, right? And you've sort of succumbed to the temptation of dating, of new people, new experiences, new adventures, that kind of thing. Which is interesting because that is not how this king of pentacles, which is representing you, that's not exactly how this king is, okay? He, he's not, um, well, actually, he can be in the reversal. I, I guess that's right. He can be, you know, hedonistic, right? Uh, enjoying the pleasures of life, enjoying the things that the life has to offer. But coming up short, deciding it's no longer satisfactory and it's not fulfilling you. But just because you feel that way or just because you are thinking that does not mean it's going to go away. I think with the death in reverse, this is a sign or a message that you might only just be coming to the realization or the acknowledgement that the path in life, the things that you're doing aren't making you as happy as you would like. Okay. Now, if you're in a relationship, I don't see the story being that different. Now, I know there's a lot of celestial activity happening, right? A lot of planets moving around. We've got eclipses happening. I think we have a Mercury retrograde in here this month sometime. So, there's a lot going on. Almost all the readings this month have been not so much about you and someone else, but more so just you and things that you are dealing with. And this is definitely like internal issues that are that are going on, right? Um, now, I'm going to contradict myself a little bit. I mean, not contradict myself, but um, I knew this going in because I, I, when I first pulled it out, I immediately saw it as you and someone else. And I don't know why it was your energy and the energy of someone else. And even though I just said it's not really about someone else, I feel that this behavior is affecting someone else. So if you are in a relationship, there is someone that is sort of being victimized by this behavior or by this option exploring. Um, someone that I think cares for you a lot, that is very much interested in you, maybe a earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, someone that is different from you. Okay, and someone that I think you feel quite fondly for, but yet still not ready to commit to. Um, and if you are in a relationship, then this would be your partner. But again, I, I do feel that you are kind of in your own little world here. There is a little bit of some emotional abandonment happening. And it's in search of something that you need to fulfill you. This person may or may not understand that. Okay, um, as an earth sign, as a feminine energy, not, you know, earth and water are feminine, fire, air, masculine, right? So as a feminine energy, um, this person might not understand that almost like denial kind of thing. Not denial, um... 
avoidance. I feel that you are avoiding something. You're avoiding something by participating in options here. This is a very open-ended reading. I don't like it so much. Hopefully when I pull more cards, I'll know more. But I don't like the judgment in reverse because it tells me that right now, I think you're not meant to really know how this all plays out or what purpose this all really has in your life. It's definitely leading somewhere. It certainly has that air of directionality. It's getting you somewhere. But I don't know that this option exploration is really making you a better person. It's just allowing you to be distracted by something that's really bugging you. Um, and maybe perhaps at the expense of another person, maybe, maybe not, at the expense of another person's feelings and, and their faith and hope in you a little bit. I think you're being a little bit selfish, not to be a bitch, but I think you're, I'm gonna call you out. I think you're being a little bit selfish here. And, and I, I can't tell you why, I don't know why. I don't know why this is happening, but, and I've said this again in many other signs, if you watch your other readings for your ascending in your moon, this is a pivotal season for a lot of people. And this is a, a pivotal card, like things are changing, but it's only just the first step, the first part of this change for people. It's not something that's like, boom, okay, I'm, I'm off in a new direction, dot, no. This is a very prolonged process and it might move and continue on September, October, November, December, January, because it's not, um, it's not meant to be quick, right? Time and death are very closely and interrelated. They're interlaced. Without time, you cannot have death. And you cannot have death without time. It is something, time heals all wounds, but I feel like you are stuck. You are stuck somewhere and you are, I see that you are like looking forward and yet you are remaining the same. You are seeing things farther out, you are seeing a future, you are seeing things, and yet your actions are nothing. You are not moving. You are paralyzed by these temptations, by these options, by the idea of, of what these things could be. It's like um, the shiny object syndrome, getting so distracted by the shiny objects in your life that even though you haven't forgotten your end goal, you haven't forgotten what you wanna do, you're just too busy distracting yourself with these shiny objects that you're not taking any real steps or any real action in the right direction. You're just the same. Some of you may have been the same for many years now without a lot of progress, without a lot of growth, without a lot of maturing. Maybe some of you are caught up in a little party like a little party boy, party girl scene, you know, and you're just wanting to have fun. And again, it's a distraction from something. A heartbreak, someone hurt you, someone stabbed you in the back, cheated on you, um, emotionally abused you, physically, sexually abused you, took advantage of you, raped you of your soul, stole life from you in some way and and now you're stuck in like a limbo I'm kind of getting the words like Peter Pan syndrome a little bit like I don't want to grow up syndrome for some of you Oh, it's so weird that I pulled out the lovers because what I was thinking when I was shuffling was it's like you're in love with being in love. 
you're in love with falling in love. And I mean, I feel that that's very much what, what it is, very much how, how it is. Now, I feel that you have maybe your sight set on someone or something, some ideal. Whenever she comes out, I feel like she is an ideal of something, an idealized version of who we think we should be with, male or female. Um, and that she is just an idea and she is the cause for this. She is connected with the devil. She is the temptation. She is the allure. And now we have the lovers. Like, I feel like you are seeking an unrealistic ideal. And let me let me go like this because. I feel like there's an earth sign in your life, okay? I don't think that this is a, a water sign. I feel more strongly that it is an earth sign. Um, it, or, okay, sorry, scratch that. Don't, don't repeat that, but um, not an earth sign, but represented by the king of pentacles and maybe even a little bit by this knight of pentacles as well. It's like you're sharing energy for some reason, I don't know. Um, but this is the idealized version, okay? And I feel like there is potential for something in your future. There is potential for this lovers. And lovers is that amazing, awesome chemical reaction that you have with someone that feels so great, stomach flips, butterflies, can't stop smiling, singing in the shower type of love, right? Um, but yet you're standing still. Like there is someone in your life that can offer this to you, but yet you're standing still. Um, there is a potential for something new. There is the potential for something wonderful and exciting for new adventure. Uh, I like this card for travel. We're kind of heading into September. You know, a lot of the traveling is stopping, but if you are planning a trip of some kind, think about maybe people that would be open to a visit from you and think about people that you would like to see because there might be something there for you. You have to just <laughs> step. I sense a stubbornness with you though. A stubbornness that does not want to take those steps. You know, if this was the Knight of Wands or even the Knight of Cups, I would feel like there would be movement towards that, but I don't. I think that this is just like, like I said, it is connected with both of you, both this and this. It is that idea of being in love with the idea of being in love, um, being in love with falling in love and, and then moving on to the next thing. It's a hard place to be. It may be fun and enjoyable and you probably don't even think anything twice of it. It's fun. It's a good life. I'm not going to say it's bad, but um, I feel like it's, it's starting to become unfulfilling. Okay? Um, that was quite a powerful reading. I'm not getting too many readings like that this, um, this month. So a unique reading for the, for this round here.
So, there's a stubborn streak in you with this. There's a stubborn streak, but the universe is just not gonna have it. It's just not gonna allow it. Uh, where you are now is not going to be where you will be <laughs> for very long. It might continue on for a few more months, but there is something coming your way. This is an inevitability. Um, the tower and all major arcana are inevitable stops along the way. Okay, At some point, we cross their paths. At some point, you have to deal with them. There is like messages and communication popping up all over the place. Um, I think this is going to be a very social month for you. It's going to be very active. You're going to be talking to a lot of people. You might be traveling. You might be going, um, you know, maybe across bodies of water. Um, in general, I think the term offer, there's going to be a lot of offers being made to you. Um, there is this again, and I feel that that kind of has a lot to do with that judgment in reverse as well. Like there's going to be things that like, ah, I think you're like paralyzed by, by fear and doubt. And, and with this, I feel like it's fear and doubt of vulnerability, fear and doubt of being exposed or of being raw not being in control, not being sure-footed, right? Like I think you're happy just standing still and not having a lot, and which is strange for me for, to say for Sagittarius because it's like super opposite, you know, in general, general terms, Sagittarians are, are always moving, going, 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 and um, they're the signs that you just like cannot keep up with. So this is a a strange foreign energy for you, I think, where you just want things to remain the status quo. You are a little bit in denial. You are choosing not to see the things that are binding you. Um, there may have been an, maybe a love interest, but maybe an offer, maybe an opportunity, like I say, for travel or to go see someone or, or to... Um, even a, a work offer, but when I say work, more along the lines of things that you love, things that tug at your heartstrings, right? So if it is a work thing, it could be like a work thing plus a cause that you're really passionate about or plus a place that, you're, that you love or that you've always wanted to go. So there's something um, coming into your life that is presenting an opportunity for you. But there is this struggle within you. What is this struggle? Why are you feeling this way? Why is it that your desires and your passions are not lining up? It's almost as though you're like, and I, and I call it, you're shooting yourself. You are, I should do this. I should be like this. I should live this kind of life. But your desires are... <laughs> They're not in alignment. They are going in opposite directions. And, and that can tear a person apart. And therefore, because of this, you're just choosing not to act. It's like you're paralyzed by this internal conflict that you're experiencing. This is very normal. This is something that usually we have going on. Very rarely do our desires and our realities match up very rarely. So this is not an uncommon thing, but for some reason it's almost like it's rendering you... I mean, you're, you're feeling almost oppressed by this somehow. Um, there is this element of justice, things coming to fruition, right? You're going to get what's coming to you, whether it's good or whether it's bad. That's a neutral statement. Depends on who you are, depends on the life you're leading, depends on who you've hurt in the past or who's hurt you in the past. Things are going to come to fruition. Things are, I'm not saying it's karma specifically, but all of these things sort of line up. All of these things create one single path, at which point there can only be one inevitable outcome. And I feel that that outcome is coming coming. It could either bite you in the ass or it could like help you in some way. It could go either way. 
and that I feel that coming to coming to justice moment um, is very sudden. Now this is a strange energy to have because not a lot of signs have pulled this card, this tower, this idea of a, a very sudden shift in direction. And I'm wondering if something isn't going to happen to you, um, maybe legally, maybe some, maybe you might win a court case or maybe lose a court case. Uh, and it's going to put things in perspective for you. This page of swords has also been popping out like crazy and I love this page of swords. He's representative of curiosity and excitement and he's running all around and talking to everybody and asking a million questions and he's, you know, he's, he's free. It's very opposite of this. And I feel that something is going to come your way. Now, bear with me. I feel that this is going to come in the form of a failure in disguise. Like it's going to be on the surface a failure, but in life and in the grand spectrum of your life, it's going to be a massive victory. Because this can also indicate triumph, right? And, but this reverse, not, not a, um, not a victor, not a victory, but like I said, a failure in disguise or a victory in disguise as a failure, more accurately put, makes more sense. And, and I feel that like, there's just this element of freshness and happiness and joy and youthful spirit which is what I love for you, Sagittarius. I think that's a very great place for you to be. Um, and like I said, communications. There might be someone in your life, okay, that you haven't heard from in a while or that you would like to hear from or that you would like to talk to or reach out, but for whatever reason, you don't want to. Um, and I feel that there's there's been maybe something connecting the two of you but it hasn't um, really formulated to anything. Maybe it's just like a friend or a long lost friend or someone that you've maybe lost touch with. But I feel like maybe now might be a time where you reconnect and more so them reaching out to you, more so them coming to you um, and being there for you and listening to you. And there may be something in the realm of love, even though it's supposed to be a general reading, there might be something in the realm of love. And I think that this is going to all kind of come out despite some of the more dramatic things that might go on in your life, or like I say, the things disguised as failures that are actually victories. It's like one of those things where you you hear, you know, getting fired that day was the best thing that ever happened to me. You know, that kind of thing. Breaking up with that person was the best thing that ever happened to me. At the time, it sucks. At the time, it's hard. But it, it's really not as bad as you would see. Actually, that top one. and the magician nonetheless. And then that idea of clarity, that idea of understanding, some information is coming your way, some news of something. There's definitely news, there's definitely communication, there's definitely, now I know we kind of have a month of Mercury retrograde, um, but I don't really think that it's, um, going to affect you that much. I don't know why I think that, but I just kind of, I'm not seeing any issues with communication whatsoever. Okay. And I feel that things will be revealed to you. And, and this is going to be a very dramatic month, I think. Um, and here you are 
upside down because of this. I think your ego maybe had to take a little bit of a hit. You've been affected, maybe your spirit dampened a little bit. Um, the internal change that you've been going through, like I say in the first reading, was is stunted. Maybe you aren't ready to really make change. But there is, a, I mean, look at how dramatic these cards are, right? We have the Tower, the Ace of Swords, and the Magician, and they are all, what's, what's interesting with the swords, and here he is with his little rod, with the swords specifically, I see them um, as like lightning rods. And here we have the bolt of lightning. And I've always, you know, oftentimes I've said this is a bolt of lightning moment. That idea of lightning, but really lightning is knowledge, is your intuition, is that direct channel, that direct connection with your higher self and your intuition kicking into high gear, listening, understanding, and you know, this is like the inspirational moment, that aha moment, like, oh, I get it. This is what I meant to be. This is the start of my journey in a very obvious way. Ace is also very obvious. You know, they're not quiet and subdued and you know, they're not, and neither is the tower. So. Nothing is going to be secretive this month. Nothing is going to be difficult to understand. It's just a matter of how, where is this going? Just because you feel inspired and just because you get this challenge or something placed in your way, um, I'm not really getting an indication that you know exactly how this is gonna pan out or that you are comfortable with the direction or it's just things that are gonna happen. It's almost like things are gonna get dumped on you and then time will tell what comes out of those things. And I know that's kind of an annoying cop-out answer, but just know that whatever happens, if it sucks and it makes you feel sad, it is a blessing in disguise, okay? And just know that these things don't come into your life unless they are meant to steer you back in the right direction, to get you where you need to be. So don't worry so much about the outcome, don't worry so much about the future, just worry about the moment, and the moments will take you in the right direction, okay? So that's pretty much it for you, Sagittarius. Wow, a very dramatic month, but I wish you nothing but the best. Good luck, and I will see you next month. Thanks.